Srinivasacharya, Narottam Das Thakur, and Shamananda Prabhu had their associates get large quantities of very colorful, scented, auspicious powders. They put it on the altar, and Janavadevi offered all of them to the deity of Sri Goranga, and then to Balavikanta, Radha Kanta, Radha Raman, Sri Krishna, and Braj Mohan. How beautiful was this celebration of Holi! Janavadevi personally sprinkled the deity of Lord Goranga's body with various colors, powders, and the devotees were cheering in ecstasy to see the Lord enjoying the Holi festival. And then she had Srinivasacharya Narottam Das Thakur very gracefully and sweetly sprinkling all the five deities of Krishna and Radharani with the gracious powders. When all the deities had played holy with the pujaris, then all the powders was Mahaprasad. Janavadevi blessed all those powders and they were distributed to all the devotees. And the devotees lovingly, very gracefully, were sprinkling the powders upon each other to express their heart's love for each other. It was a beautiful festival. The devotees who were just a few minutes before plunged in the ocean of separation now were now smiling and laughing and dancing as they were sprinkling powders on one another, the remnants of Radha Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It was a glorious festival of colors everywhere as they all chanted the holy name. When the festival of Holi was performed with such enthusiasm and gracious love, Janava Devi announced, It is now time where the moon is rising to celebrate the appearance of Lord Goranga. With the blessings of the Vaishnavas, Srinivasacharya brought that beautiful deity of Sri Goranga, the golden form of the Lord. All the associates of Lord Chaitanya who were at that festival unanimously agreed of all deities of Lord Goranga in the world, this one looks most exactly like his original form because he personally modeled for the creation of that murti. Lord Goranga was given the celebration for his birthday exactly according to what the scriptures say is to be done for Krishna's Janmashtami. Because the devotees understood that Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. So they performed the Janmashtami festival for Lord Chaitanya with the same types of prayers and songs and abhishekams. And as they were worshipping the Lord like this, the devotees were singing beautiful songs about the appearance of the Lord and his wonderful childhood pastimes and his pastimes of drowning the world with love of God through the chanting of the holy name. They sang about Lord Chaitanya's incredible pastimes of tasting the sweetest rasas of Sri Radha's love. That ceremony went for some time into the night, and when the ceremony of Lord Chaitanya was complete, the Maha Arti was performed, Narottam Das Thakur continued the kirtan. Devotees were singing and dancing ecstatically until Mangal Arti. They went through the whole night as everyone thunderously with sweet emotions of love chanted the holy names.
you were listening to radhanath swami on the sacredconnect.com